G'day guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna change the plugs on the uh, on the battery and the ESC here to Dean's connectors because these uh, old Tamiya ones kind of wear out pretty quick and they don't handle much power. Anyway, we'll get onto it. Now, a couple of things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a soldering iron with a pretty decent tip on it like that. You don't really want a small electronics type uh, soldering iron. I think uh, wattage wise you probably need about 60 watts I guess and you need a sponge pretty damp sponge just for cleaning the uh, the iron you don't want it soaking wet just damp and there we go so we've got our soldering iron and you'll need some side cutters possibly a knife depending how you do it but we'll get to that in a minute now these are very handy Mr. Jig soldering jig as you can see, you can uh, fit your Dean's plug in here. Oop, went in a bit far. Tighten them up and you can solder on there. My only issue with this is it's very light, so it still moves around and stuff when you're dealing with it. A thicker base would be, uh, would be great. I might get onto that later and build a base. Anyway, that's not for this video, we'll move on. So what I normally do is use the vise, or you can just get a, uh, a pair of pliers. Actually, a, a bigger set would be better, bigger and heavier. Anyway, turn around this way. Yeah, just uh, crimp them in like that, and then get your trusty old rubber band. There you go, it's not going anywhere. And then you can just, you know, open that up, put your next one in. Same way, I guess. <laughs> there, there you go. And you need some shrink tube. So you want it just a, a little bit bigger than the uh, the wire that you're going to be using. And uh, yeah, go from there. You can buy the, the shrink tube in big bulk packs off eBay, very cheap. Like these ones in the drawers, you can, you can I bought these off eBay, very cheap, uh, all assorted sizes, so, you know, if you're doing a bit of soldering, it's pretty handy. Alrighty, so, we'll start with the battery. And, of course, for the battery, we're going to use a female plug on it. So you haven't got, uh, you know, two bare wires dangling around, basically. So we use a female on the battery. And the slot that goes across is always the positive side, and the one going down, negative. So we'll just cut off the, the positive now, we'll start with that. First thing you do before you, before you forget, put the shrink tube on there. Actually we need to cut that to size. So we need it to be about there I guess. Doesn't need to be much longer than the uh, little terminal on it. There's no exact measurement, just uh, eyeball it. Just, uh, yeah, if you've got too much on there, it's not gonna be very neat, of course. And then we take, we take about five mil of insulation off the end. So we take our five mil off, there we go. It's looking very nice. And you're gonna need some solder. So I just use this uh, resin cord solder. Mine's, uh, mine's leaded solder. I haven't had a lot of luck with the unleaded solder, but you know, whatever works for you. So grab your soldering iron, it's all hot. And just hold it on there for a few seconds. So tinning the wire, they call this. So you fill it up with solder, just feed it in till it's full. Might be a little bit too much on that one. She'll be right, mate. <laughs> Now, we grab our, our Dean's plug, put it in the pliers. Now remember the slot going across is the uh, positive one. They're even marked on it. I don't know if you can see it. They're not always marked, some are, some aren't, but yeah. Um, and we want the, uh, you'll notice the, the plugs are offset. Oh, this one's out to this side a little bit more. So we put the wire on the inside of that one. 
And on the negative, we put it on this side. It just gives us more room to play and it makes the plug look a lot neater. So same thing with that. I'll go and tin both of these. Hopefully you're gonna see that. Clean the iron a bit. Get a bit of heat in there, bang a bit of solder into it. Try not to shake your hands too much. <laughs> now I can just grab our wire. This is where some uh, wider pliers, longer pliers might have been handy. You can rest your hand on it. And heat them both up, bang the wire on there. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's a little bit too much solder on it, but it's fine. It'll be right. So then we can do our negative. Again, take about five mil off the end. Give it a little twist just to keep the wires together. And we can tin that one. Yeah, clean our iron. Alrighty, now this one's already tinned. So don't forget the shrink tubing like I almost did. Clean the end of that up a bit. Let's take the end off. There we go. Now we can slip that tube over. Now that the uh, the red one's cooled. Actually, I'll take them out of there so it's easier to handle. tube's actually very tight. Probably should have gone one size up. Anyway, stick it back in the pliers. Put our black tube on there. And again, we heat them both up together. on there for a few seconds as I say in the solder in the uh, vice would have been much better you know it doesn't move around at all so I'll wait a few seconds for that to cool before I put the shrink tubing down the reason I do that is so it doesn't shrink before you've got it all the way down yeah, that should be enough Pull our tube over. Yep, that one is very tight. Definitely should have used the next size tube. <laughs> Alrighty. So I normally spread these apart a little bit. Make sure you've got a clean iron. You don't want to get solder all over the outside. So then you can either, a lot of people, you know, light these up with a lighter or whatever. But you just need a bit of heat, you don't need flame. It is quick though with the lighter. And then just get close to it and get it hot with the, with the soldering iron. Just enough to shrink the tube. And run it up the, up the inside a little bit. Doesn't matter too much if you touch it. And 
And that's our battery done. Looks pretty good, I think. Seen a lot better. Also seen a lot worse. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, one other way you can trim the wire is um, we'll do it with a cutting mat. Well, you can trim them by cutting them off. That's easy. <laughs> but what I will do is uh, just to bear the ends of them. You can just uh, kind of roll the wire back and forward under your knife, putting gentle pressure on the um, insulation. You just want to cut through the insulation, not the wire itself, and then pull them off, just like that. So it's really a matter of preference how you do it. If you're not real confident, either way, do it the other way. Yeah. So then we can go and tin them and we can put our mail plug on. And there we go. So, we've got our battery done and we've got the ESC done now. That's it for this video. Um, I might change the motor wires on this later. I'm not sure what buggy I'm going to run it in. Or car. Alright, hope this was helpful. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe and like and share and all of that other business. That would be great. Um, until the next video. See you next time.